Nola Jet here at the tour. Yeah, good stuff in here. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans travel vlog, we are visiting Batour Bites and Brew for a new business review of this new cafe, coffee shop, and great dessert location. Batour Bites and Brew is located at 503 Causeway Boulevard in Jefferson, Louisiana, which is at the intersection of Causeway and Arlington. And this is about 60 minutes and 8 miles away from the French Quarter. This location is also right in front of Camp Parapet, which is a historic location that dates back to the war between the states. Batour Bites and Brew has a nice selection of breakfast and lunch items, along with a good selection of caffeinated beverages and desserts. This is my first visit here as this is still a very new business, and I'm meeting my friend, the big boy, here for lunch. Big Boy has paid several visits to this establishment already and has eaten breakfast here several times, but this is his first lunch visit at the tour. So we are in for a new food adventure in this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog. Now we're going to take a walk down here to take a look at Camp Parapet, and uh, there's not a lot to it really. It's just one big mound here that is covering an ammo magazine, and you really can't even get back there. You can just look off and see that it's got some information signs that you can see from the distance. But it's uh, essentially just an old powder magazine uh, from back in the old War Between the States days. So it's interesting to go take a look at before you go back and enjoy some time here at the tour. So it's a really nice and convenient spot here to go see a little bit of history before or after you go and enjoy some good food, good times, and good people here at Matur. So as you can see on the outside, they did a really great job of getting everything looking very ship shape. And speaking of keeping things in good shape, it really would help me if you would smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up as it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. And I do need to do well on that to keep making videos here, so I appreciate it. Now look, they have a special here with a Cubana pulled pork and sliced ham. So that's the special for the day. Now let's walk on inside and check this place out. And it's Big Boy over here having a little fun. <coughs> oh, what's going on over here, uh, Big Boy? We're, uh, we're just enjoying a beautiful spring day here in uh, late January, and uh, we're about to enjoy uh, a couple of sandwiches here at the Batcher Coffee and Brew. Batcher Bites and Brew, I should say. So when did this place open? Uh, five weeks ago, I'm told. So, I think they've only whoa. swept it a couple of times, actually. Very nice. So I just heard a rumor that you've been eating here quite frequently since they opened. <clears throat> yes, I've become what they call a regular. I come in, they say, well, you have the regular Mr. Pickford, I say I will, and there it is. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, how many thumbs do you give so far? Well, I, I've gotten into a rut. I come in, I have the Cafe Mocha, I have the uh, croissant, uh, egg, bacon, and uh, cheese breakfast sandwich. And this is actually going to be the first time I've tried lunch, but I will tell you the croissant are absolutely to die for. The Mocha is one of the best I've tasted in the city, and I've tasted all of them. So this this uh, this gets two thumbs up as far as the limited things that I've done here. It's great. Ho ho ho! So we're gonna have a little adventure of we're lunch gonna, for the first going time. Into uncharted territory. Outstanding. Yes. So we'll see how this goes. So big boy for the adventure today. So I'm not sure if this is an old building they renovated or a new building they built. It looks like an old building. They did a fantastic job of renovating. It's a really beautiful building. And it's carnival time here in New Orleans, so we have lots of Mardi Gras fun here. Here are some king cakes, some uh, Mardi Gras decorated pedophores. Ooh, so many good things in here already to tempt all of your taste sensations. So, uh, it's hard to wait until we get to lunch, I guess. These pedophores really look quite delicious, so I think uh, the 
there might be some of those in my future. Now, this kind of a traditional king cake I'm not the biggest fan of because I don't like that crunchy sugar on it, but there's other uh, similar types of things I do like when they don't have the crunchy sugar. And hey, they've also got a selection of local honey, which is always a good thing to know about as well. So they have a, a pretty constant stream of people coming in here and ordering things, so that's good for a new business, especially one this new. I believe they're uh, just at a month old. And look, they have some slices of the king cake of the traditional type available, and then some cookies, more pedophores. So a good selection right here. Ooh, very delicious. Look at that, some oat milk, chocolate chips, ooh, peanut butter cookie too, I think. And then in the case, Different kinds of king cake. I like these filled king cakes way better. These still have that crunchy sugar on top that I'm not a big fan of though, so I still would prefer it without that. Now they also have some eclairs and macaroons also in purple, green, and gold. The Mardi Gras colors of New Orleans. So a great little selection of some delicious looking items here. And as we look a little closer at these stuffed king cakes, look at here, all the spilling. Ooh, these are some beautiful works of art, and just all the delicious things inside here. Oh, they are filled with a lot of delicious items. Ah, so good. And uh, definitely, this is a nice spot to get some good coffee drinks. And they have their signature drinks, too. Even a special carnival cafe ole for the holiday. It's always good, because uh, it seems carnival is everywhere. And almost everything has a carnival theme this time of year in New Orleans. All right, let's get back to the table and look at our menu to decide what we're going to get. So they have a nice selection of salads and sandwiches. The big boy decided to get the special of the day with the Cubano and it looks quite nice. And you definitely get a nice size portion with that sandwich and a nice side salad. And I got the turkey sandwich with avocado. Ooh, that looks quite delicious too. So the Cubano, huh, Bixford? It's uh, looking nice. No obli English. <laughs> you need a uh, mojito to go with that, or is it a uh, Hemingway daiquiri you need? <clears throat> I need a, uh, I'm gonna need a hammock on a beach after this. <laughs> I pronounce it delicious. <laughs> State some salad. He's going vegetarian on us uh, briefly. I did not fight my way to the top of the food chain to eat vegetables. Primo Deliciosa. So the Batur Turkey Sandwich. Let's see how it is. A lot of good avocado on there. So just go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and it really would help me and I really do appreciate it. Second half.
So the sandwich is definitely going down quite fast and easy. It's got a lot of good flavors on here. I'm really liking the bread. They toasted it perfectly. So really great job on the sandwich. So just like I destroy that sandwich, destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Mmm, salad. Does anybody watch a video to see salad? I don't know. Comment below. I don't think most people care about people eating salad. It's good for you. A lot of fiber. Tastes good. But, uh, it's not meat. <laughs> Salad's also not dessert. So, mmm, alright. I'm eating all of it, though, because I do like my salad. I especially like the mixed greens. But go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. If you love salad, sandwiches, meat, or desserts, or any food, because hey, it does help me through the YouTube algorithm and I appreciate it. Big Boy, on the other hand, was a very naughty boy because he didn't eat all his salad, he did not clean his plate. So Bexford, that looks pretty good. What are you going to order here for dessert? I think I'm going to eat three of these king cakes all by myself. <laughs> You could do better than that. I mean, I thought you had a bigger appetite. Well, I, uh, I had a, uh, a wafer thin uh, vanilla wafer this morning for breakfast, so I don't have room for any more than that. <laughs> That's all I can do. A wafer thin mint. Well, it is carnival time, so we have to go to excess. <clears throat> yes, uh, we don't know what is enough until we know what is more than Indeed. Enough. Those are beautiful. Okay, this is a really difficult choice, so there's only one solution. Multiple choices. Now the best part, dessert, yeah. Ooh, this is a macaroon. That is uh, super chocolatey. Had a four. Ooh. And carnival colors. Happy Monte Gras. Mm. Ooh, it's double layered. Icing, nice. And just an old-fashioned oatmeal cookie, because you always need your oatmeal cookie. Mm. <laughs> if you love dessert too, destroy the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So my total for lunch and all those desserts with tip was $31.27. Nolajet here with Big Boy. Uh -huh, we're here for tour. So what'd you think of our lunch today? I thought it was good. I uh, I just drove this truck up here we, from uh you know we loaded it up with bites and brew and uh, drove it up here and uh, now the, the engine dropped completely out of it. So uh, I don't know. It's not going anywhere now. It's gonna, <laughs> it'll probably be here when the next time you all come. It's probably not going to move for a while. So so uh, you're going to take full responsibility for uh, when we go race this later. I guess right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> all right. Well, stay tuned for more. Uh, Big boy maybe goes and eats sushi for dinner with us tonight. So <laughs> it's looking pretty good for that. Yes. Oh yeah. I still have to finish off uh, dessert. <laughs> All right. Well, good time. Around. See you around the way. Woo! Good food. Good times. Good people. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.